Next we have immune thrombocytopenic purpura and pancytopenia. And the question posed is, when a patient has both immune thrombocytopenic purpura, ITP, and pancytopenia, are both conditions coded? And the reason the question is being asked is, or does the rule for not coding thrombocytopenia with pancytopenia apply? And that really comes up as it was that, from that coding clinic that was given to us first quarter 1991 that told us that neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and anemia, when occurring concurrently, one would only assign the code for pancytopenia. Hence the, hence the above question. In fact, the answer is um, a departure from that coding clinic in 1991. Assign both codes, 28731 ITP and 28419 other pancytopenia. Although code 28419 includes a deficiency in the number of platelets, it does not identify the patient has specifically immune thrombocytopenic purpura. Therefore, 287.31 in addition is needed to identify this condition. The classification basically is saying that it wants the specificity of the immune thrombocytopenia purpura. Okay? I want to make that clarification because it is in fact different from the instructions given to us um, long ago in 1991.